Hello everybody, this is Alice the Dragon, and it has been a while. <laughs> I have been doing quite a bit of, uh, you know, uh, a little busy stuff. You know, I've uh, been, you know what, I'm not going to use the <laughs> controller there. That There we go, that's better. Uh... Anyway, uh, yeah, it's been a busy few weeks. I have moved back to Washington, and we're in our new digs. So this is great. It's essentially the bottom of a house that is our apartment, and our friends live upstairs, and I'm so happy. And so is Bella, and Bella is licking her butt because she's a dog. <laughs> All right, so what are we doing today? Um, we have the fiberglass rod. We don't have the titanium rod yet. Let's see what the fortune teller has to say. Neutral spirits. We really do need to see if we can get that puffer fish. So let's, let's just run. Let's just run. Ignore the mail and other stuff waiting for us. Because we don't have... Ooh, there's... Uh, I, I think that's the oak resin or whatever. Anyway, um, yeah, we don't have time. We're late. We're late for a very important date. No time to say hello. Goodbye. I'm late and late and late. Being, being an Alice, you have to know so much of the Alice in Wonderland stuff. Oh, hi, Shane. How you doing? Yes, I have work to do. <laughs> In fact, my work is I'm going to go fishing. Yep. Shane's such a crab apple, but uh, I hear if you really get to, get to know him, he, he uh, ends up being pretty sweet. So... Early morning! Fishing in the ocean! Let's see what we can get! Alright. So far, so good. Probably not a puffer fish, but I might be able to sell it to get the. Yep, it's a red snapper. To get the nice fishing rod, which I definitely want. I'm gonna stay out here until about noon, I think. And, uh. Oh, uh, some other fun things that have been happening. Um. I now have two apple seedlings, which are going to be my little mini apple tree. I'm going to treat them like a bonsai, which essentially means that every year or so I'm going to take them out of the pot um, and uh, remove any um, extraneous roots. And I'm also going to be trimming the tops so they are roughly equal in mass. And, uh, hopefully, you know, it'll keep going for five plus years and we'll start getting apples. So, that's exciting. And I think in celebration of that, uh, one of the next things we should be going for is the fruit trees. I, I was kind of thinking of saving those for next year when we actually have money for them, but... Yeah, we might as well just at least start on that fruit, uh, fruit farm, fruit orchard, tree farm. I don't know. <laughs> Whatever you want to call it. But yeah, things are really good out here. Yeah, the, yeah, the new, like, I hesitate to call it at an apartment because it's essentially one room with, ooh, ooh, yes. Yes, give me. Yes, yes. Oop. Gotta stay on top of that. But yeah, we've got a fireplace and uh, and like countertops and a sink. Dressed spinner. Okay. I don't have anything to put that on yet, but we'll uh, we'll see. Uh. Yeah. Where was I going with this? Oh yeah. So it's basically just, you know, it's a studio. It's one room, there's a bathroom and a counter with a sink, and that's it. And uh, the fireplace, of course, which uh, is, you know, it's, in my opinion, it's all 
rather nice and I you know, dare say I even prefer the Spartan like the kind of minimalistic living that this is uh, going to put us in you know like it it it, it kind of comes back almost to um, you know to my uh, belief in dudism uh, I don't even know if belief is the right word Ooh, my following of dudism because you know the dude his his apartment is very very bare <laughs> And it gives us, and since there's wood floors down there, it gives us an excuse to get a nice rug, which I am very, might, very much looking looking forward to, because, yeah, a good rug can really tie the room together, can it not? <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't think we're getting a puffer fish today, but uh, we'll. Woo. Okay, okay, you're, yeah, you're all right, you're all right. I got you. I got you. Come on. Come on, give me that fish. Yeah. That was another tuna. Let's um, go ahead and sell some stuff. Whoops! No! No! No, I did not... I did not want to sell that. Or buy that. Damn it. Uh... Oh, oh well. Okay, well. That kind of... That kind of puts a little damper in things. Uh... We're not even close to um, to that fishing rod now because I just bought a dang crab pot that I didn't need. Eh. Oh well, those little impulse purchases—you don't you don't realize you're making them until you've made them, right? <laughs> tuna, new record for tuna. That's a nice gold star tuna. Yeah. Uh, give me, give me. No! No, no, no. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Yeah, no, no. Aww. Bella's definitely been doing some growing over the summer. Like, she is, I, I think, a lot more relaxed now with uh, encountering new people and pets and strange places because you know she's you know she had you know essentially three months to get used to uh this uh this new house with a dog friend and uh and my parents and the cats and uh, all that fun stuff so you know ooh. Okay, okay, we got fossils. That's, uh, it's actually really nice. Let me get these. I'm gonna hang on to this. In fact, uh, let's put this over here. And we'll do stuff. Uh, yeah, let's, let's go to the museum. And, uh, and present this Nautilus. Do, do I want some seaweed? I want some seaweed. Eat the seaweed. Yes, get some energy from the seaweed. I actually really like seaweed. I like sushi and uh, I like nori. I, I like just getting nori and just eating it. <laughs> Let's donate this shell to the museum and then we can sell the tailbone for ourselves. All right, time to go back to the farm and uh, and uh, take care of stuff because I know my chickies are gonna be hungry. It is raining, so they can't really, or at least they don't want to go out in the rain to, to forage and I totally respect them for that. So we just need to get ourselves some uh, some hay. Hey there. Yeah. I don't know if I'm trying to be funny or what, but uh, I don't know. Yeah, I've, I've kind of missed doing these uh, these videos. Yeah. You know, I like to say that you know I do them for myself, but yeah, you know, I 
I really enjoy it when you join in, and that just, uh... I don't know, it's, it's motivation. There we go. Alright, what's in the mailbox? Uh, Dear Alice, I read an article about you in the local paper. I'm so impressed with your progress on the farm. Keep this up. Dear old dad might be retiring in a Fern Island <laughs> Fern Island's luxury bungalow after all. Uh, that doesn't sound like my dad. <laughs> yeah, my dad would rather just stay exactly where he is, but... <laughs> yeah, good stuff. Alright, so we got the crab pot. Let's put it here. You know, that actually fills that all out nicely, so... Oh, chickies! Oh, chickies, how are you? Alright, gotta go say hi to them. Hi, chickies! And a little baby chicky, can't forget you. Everybody's all filled up on food, so that's good. Got a little gold star egg here. I'm just gonna sell that as, as is. Let's see. We have the geode. You know what? Let's do just a hair of fishing. Just a little bit of fishing. Or not fishing. A little bit of mining. That's that's what I'm thinking of doing. I'll pick these up too. Oops. Pick these up too while I'm at it. And uh, head on up to the place. The... Dang it. Dang it, my memory. Ugh, you know, this, this really bothers me. That I'll forget just simple words. Especially for, you know, names, places, and dates. I, I, you know, in school I was just like, you know, those are, those are my three banes, names, places, and dates. And, uh, like, they, they just don't like to stick. All right, what can I get? Yeah, I could have, uh, gone to get the, uh, geode broken, but that's something I could save for tomorrow. All right, nothing down here, nothing up here. What's going on around, uh... Oh, still nothing. All right, we're looking for the... Look for the way out. There it is. All right. Yeah, I gotta actually face the right way to get these guys. Come on now. Come on. Come on! Uh, they're... Oh no. No. Not these guys again. Uh, oh, is that... Must be a bat. Okay, bats are not so bad. I, I don't mind the bats quite as much as I mind the uh, little uh, mosquitoes. Uh, dang those mosquitoes. I guess we just call this place the mines, because that's where we mine. Although I kind of want to call them the caverns or something. Oop. One more straggler there. Come on, come on. There we go. That's it. All right. Yeah, things, things are good. Uh, although it is 7 p.m., so should probably go ahead and head back up after just you know, a quick little scan. See if there's anything fun down here, like a piece of quartz. That that uh, oh yep, these guys are just going crazy now because I'm just walking past them. It's like, hey, fight me, fight me! All right, leave the mine. But, uh, that is not what, uh, I'm about right now. They take too long to take down, and not only that, they don't drop very good stuff. So I'm 
not as inclined to hunt them down as, uh, say, the bats or, uh, or even the mosquitoes. Let's see. Can I just, can I just eat one of these? I'm good. I'm good. Oops. Dang it. I just want to eat it. Eat the spice berry. Make some room. There we go. All right. So, yeah, things are, I keep saying, things are good, things are nice. Well, that's just because they are. I tend to th say things over and over again when I believe they're true. So, I don't know. <laughs> Take of that what you will. Ah, dang it. Okay, fine, Gollum, I'll fight you. Come on. These guys are just everywhere. Alright. That stuff. I want to hold on to earth crystals, but quartz I'll get rid of. Is there anything else that I should probably get rid of? Alright. Uh, how are we? Geocloth. Earth crystal. Yeah, the earth crystal and the... Actually, the ores I should just go ahead and start furnacing <laughs> and let's see no that's all the recyclables yeah, it feels like I forget half of what I'm doing every time I pick up this game so yeah that's uh that's interesting <laughs> uh no not what I'm no I'm not opening that I'm opening this put that in there put the earth crystal in there uh, I don't know. I, <laughs> I don't know. Let's uh, put the spinner in this one. And uh, Bella's hearing somebody outside, so she thinks that something's up. All right. Let's do one more sweep of the yard just to make sure that uh, nobody's trying to cause trouble. Uh-huh. Oh, really now? I don't know if you can hear her in the background there. <laughs> uh, yeah, she's gotten a lot more polite when it comes to barking. Now, instead of going all bonkers, she does these little roof, roof, Roof. Roof. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I approve of that. That's, that's conversational barking, in my opinion. Oh. Put the, let's sell the mayonnaise. Mayonnaise. Oh! Where'd you come from? Ow! Uh... And now Bella's just proving me wrong about the polite barking. Hush! That's enough! Bella! That's enough. Alright, come on now. Come on, bat. Baby! Alright. Bella, come here. Come here. Lie down. That's my good girl. Yes, let's go to sleep and see what tomorrow brings us. We're at level four mining. We can now transmute. I assume that's iron? F-E? I think that's iron. Hmm. All right. 1534. And, uh, yeah, that, uh, gets us part of the way. Hey, what's up, Bella? You want to say hi to the viewers? <laughs> All right. Uh, getting rearranged. All right. Well, you can investigate if you want. I don't care. <laughs> there she goes. All right. 
Uh, fortune teller, tell me a fortune. Mildly perturbed today. Okay, so no fishing. And next episode is going to be sunny. All right. Well, that is excellent. Let's uh, check our mail. Alice, I'm gathering data on the correlation between soil al alkalinity and crop fructose levels. Long story short, I need a fresh melon from your farm. If you brought me one, I'd be very grateful. Sorry, Demetrius. I uh, am not as much of a farmer as everybody thinks I am. I am done with the melons. Oops. A bunch of those. Alright, so let's let our chickens out. Alright. Eggs, eggs. Hello. Oops. Hello. Nice chickies. How is everyone? We've got lots of nice eggs, and I need to get out this straw. Because I like having it ready to go. Alright. And I actually haven't been baiting these uh, crab pots, have I? So I should actually do that now. Yeah, all those little chickies go out and they get the nice grass, and that's excellent. Alright. So, I think, uh, I think first thing I should do is uh, I should go down and get my... Uh, Blarg. You know, the, you know, the axe I, uh, you know, was uh, working on, uh, I think it was last episode that uh, I was like, oh, well, you know, we've got the axe now. No, we don't. It was still being worked on or something like that. So I'm going to put my rod away and we're going to go all the way this way. Oh, I should also uh, get one of those, uh, uh, no, he doesn't carry the totems, does he? Arg, like, faulty brain wiring makes for difficult life. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, that's, that's okay, that's just who I am. And, uh, I hope you like who I am, otherwise you wouldn't be watching this channel, I imagine. So, uh, yeah, good stuff. Alright. Do you have my axe? Yay, you have my axe! How are you? Alright. Can, can we, uh... Wait. Did I put the geode away? Huh. Well, uh, okay then. We could upgrade the hoe. But, uh... That takes money, and I have no real reason to do the big sections, so I'm gonna be happy with uh, what I've got. <laughs> Bella's trying to bring me the rope. It was, uh, it's actually kind of funny, you know, we uh, brought her rope to uh, my parents' house. He's, uh, not working yet, or not working at all, I suppose. Uh, so she brought her rope, which, which was like this uh, striped pink and blue and white thing, uh, which is a rather nice, of course. And, uh, and, uh, so she ended up taking her rope out of out of the room we were in to where uh, her uh, Auntie Bridget could get it. And Auntie Bridget uh, has very strong teeth <laughs> and likes to chew on ropes. So that rope lasted all of, oh, five minutes after Bridget got a hold of it. But, you know, that's just fine. Now, where is the way to... Is it just all the way back here? I think that's it. Yeah. Alright. Dang it! Still not strong. Okay. Right, it needs to be the steel axes. Well, in that case, 
let's just head back to the farm and do a little bit of cleaning up. Uh, you, you, you know that I really wanted to get the whole place covered in, uh, you know, just totally covered in grass. And that involves a lot of removing of wood and stone. Actually, I'm gonna chop this side because I don't want my trees falling into the water if possible. So I can actually get that wood. There we go. Get that. Get that. Let's see, I think I think you can yeah. Get those out with the hoe. Yeah. Now now we're cooking. Speaking of cooking, we don't have a stove down here, so my mom very kindly uh, gave us a really nice toaster oven, which uh, which is very nice. And uh, so that toaster oven, it, um, in addition to um, our slow cooker, is going to be the... Uh, you know, main way we cook food just for the two of us. However, you know, since the guys upstairs are friends of ours, we've decided, hey, you know, if if we feel like cooking something big and sharing it with everyone, then absolutely do that. <laughs> Otherwise, it's every man for himself. And uh, I think I think that's uh, a rather nice setup. If I do say so myself. I'm I'm looking forward to living here. Yeah, there's there's definitely those you know early move in jitters where you're just like oh like everything's new. Yeah, is is this what I actually need? And you know everything's still kind of disorganized, so you're just like uh like yeah some things are annoying in one way or another, but, yeah, oh no, no, it went straight into the water, all right, actually, I'm gonna go around here, ah, well, yeah, sometimes, sometimes you just aren't in a good position any way you cut it, ah, and, yeah, especially with uh, my mental health stuff, it's it. Yeah, I've been getting a lot of that feeling of, ooh, am yeah, am I doing the right thing? And I just have to reassure myself that, you know, you know, whatever I do, is the right thing. There, there is no objective. Oh, I need to eat something. I don't have. I don't really have any uh, food on me, don't I? Just get the rest of that. There we go. All right. Uh, it's 4 p.m. and uh, I should look for something to eat because sap isn't good. Sap saps your energy. Ha ha ha. Yeah, but um. Uh, let's see. Maple syrup. I could just eat the maple syrup. I'm I'm gonna be a greedy gut. Gulp 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 gulp. Like who would just drink maple syrup? I would apparently. <laughs> uh, yep, chicken's having a good time. Can I get these stumps yet? Oh, I can. Let's get get the stumps. Yes. Yes. Get us some hardwood. Hi, Bella. How you doing? You being a good dog? Yes, you are. You are a good dog. And I love you very much. I am very lucky to have you in my life. I think the best thing about owning a dog is that... Uh, it, it it gives you an excuse to not be social if you don't want to be. <laughs> like 
I'm I'm a bit of an introvert myself. You know this. You know this is essentially the most talkative I ever get, and uh, it's not exactly super talkative anyway. Let's see the seeds. There we go. Pine cones go in with the seeds. Uh, still want more slimes. Uh, maybe I should get my fishing pole out just to get some stuff to... Oh wait, can I? Let's see. Aha! I do have some food. Alright, I'm, I'm just gonna have, have me one of these. Yeah, you get put away. There we go. Now I'm now I'm feeling really good. All right, let's take care of business. Da 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 da. Yep. Best thing about having a dog is you don't have to be social if you don't want to be, because you can say, "Oh look, I think my dog wants to go back inside. I'm gonna go back inside." <laughs> or. Uh, or you're talking to people and, uh, or, you know, a bunch of people are talking about stuff that, oops, ow, come here, bat. If, if, if you're just, you know, not particularly into the conversation, you're just like, eh, yeah, it's all right. Yeah. Okay. Those are the ones that are too hard. Then it's just like, you can call your dog over and start petting them. And that is perfectly socially acceptable. In fact, uh, a lot of times people will, you know, gush over how cute your dog is, which uh, is very nice. Yes, Bella, I'm talking about you. <laughs> it's, uh, it's kind of relieving, actually, being able to have that focus outside of yourself. <coughs> Bella! Bella, come here. Bella. Bella, come here. Lie down. Lie down. It's just the neighbors. Lie down. Lie down. Shush. Oh, no, it's Bill. Bill's home. Yay! I'm in the middle of a recording an episode, so give me just a second. We're just about to go to bed. <laughs> uh, good times. Good times. Yeah. It's all right for Bella to bark like that if Bill's coming home because she gets excited. All right, everybody. Good night. Thank you for joining me for this, and take care. Oh, <sighs>